أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي سبحانك اللهم لا علم لي إلا ما علمتني إنك أنت العليم الحكيم الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله قيوم السماوات والأرض وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أسعد من ربه استفاء صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه دائما وأبدا لا يجرك منتهى صلى عليه الله ربنا ثم سلم وآله ومن لشبعهم تما والتابعين من ذوي الأمانة والوفاء ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين والجزاء يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد إن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم شر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدع وكل بدعة في دين الله ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for yet another Jumu'ah in our lives We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us to see the month of Ramadan We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the good health to stand behind our Imams and perform the Taraweeh Salat We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the ni'mah that he has blessed us with that a lot of people take for granted. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to bless us with good health. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, have you realized how the days in Ramadan are passing? Have you realized how the days in this month is going by. Do you remember the time when you were hoping and, see, and, 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 and wishing to see the month of Ramadan? Do you remember all the preparation that you put in place to, to welcome or usher this month of Ramadan? Do you remember the first Taraweeh you stand behind the Imam to usher in the month of Ramadan. Today, Ramadan is saying goodbye to you and I. Ramadan is saying goodbye to you and I. Ayyama ma'adudat. These are limited days, fixed number of days, few days, number of days that we can count. We started counting from number one. Today we are number 19. By next week, some people will be grieving that Ramadan is leaving. Some people will be happy that they are going to go back to their old days. Each and every one of us here, 
the way we feel in our body, we are so sure that we would see if far today. The way you feel in your body, the way you think right now, you are so sure that Allah would make you see and open your fast or break your fast today. I have that hope. You also have that hope. But this is a false hope. Anything could happen between now and a far time. Anything could happen between now and a far time. But I want us to take a moment and reflect for the next 100 or 200 years to come. The next 100 years to come, I will be in 140 something years. Some people will be in 170 something years in this masjid. For the next 200 years to come, some people will be 200 something years. But this is a lie. None of us here would live to see 100 years to come. 99.9999% or 100% none of us here in this masjid would live to see the next 100 years to come. It is going to be a new set of people sitting right here in this masjid. Where would you be? Where will you be? Where will I be? هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا؟ Had time not come upon mankind? Did time not elapse upon mankind when he was not something to be mentioned? So many years ago, you did not know where you were. So many years ago, your parents did not even think of you. My parents did not even think of me. And there came a time when our parents or our family were happy that we had come to the world. A time shall come when your family, my family, will be crying for your departure. A time shall come when, whether you like it or not, you shall go. That journey that is in front of you and I, how prepared are we? A lot of us, I mean all of us here, we are blessed to see ourselves right here in the masjid. To see ourselves right here in the month of Ramadan. A chance to get closer to Allah. A chance to enter Jannah. In this month of Ramadan, all the doors of the hellfire are closed. It is a one-way road. It is a one-way road. However, some people would not get the chance to enter that, that door. The door of Jannah. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says, Jinan. All the doors of Jannah are open. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, days have passed in the month of Ramadan. What have you achieved? How many times have you memorized the Quran or how many times have you finished the Quran? How many times did you get to sit and recite the Quran? We have few more days to go. We have few more days to go. The set of people I see in this masjid were not the same people last year. Some had gone to Qiyamah. Some had died. Next year, it's not going to be the same people right here in the masjid. It's going to be some different set of people. Do we think about all these phenomena? These are natural phenomena. But we take our minds away from it. Live this Ramadan as though it is your last Ramadan to live. As though it's your last Ramadan to observe. As though it's your last Ramadan to fast. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows 
those who are going to leave to see next year's Ramadan. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, the seventh Khalifa of Bani Umayyah, his last khutbah to his people, the advice he gave his people, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ الْأَمَانَ غَدًا لِمَنْ خَافَ الْيَوْمَ وَبَاعَ قَلِيلًا بِكَثِيرٍ وَفَائِتًا بِبَاقٍ أَلَا تَرَوْنَ أَنَّكُمْ فِي أَسْلَابٍ هَالِكِينَ وَسَيَخْلُفُهَا مِنْ بَعْدُكُمُ الْبَاقُونَ وَكَذَلِكَ حَتَّى تُرَدُّونَ إِلَى خَيْرِ الْوَارِثِينَ ثُمَّ أَنْتُمْ فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ تُشَيِّعُونَ غَادِيًا وَرَائِحًا إِلَى اللَّهِ قد قضى نحبة وبلغ أجله ثم تدعونه غير موسد ولا ممهد قد خلع الأسباب وفارق الأحباب وباشر التراب وواجه الحساب غنيا عما ترك وفقيرا إلى ما قدم عمر بن عبد العزيز the advice he gave his people before Allah called him he said my people pay attention Take note أن الأمان غدا to be secured on the day of قيامة tomorrow to enjoy the life of قيامة to have a peaceful life tomorrow on the day of قيامة لمن خاف اليوم you must fear Allah today you must be conscious of Allah today you must follow the principles that what is set for you today you must bear in mind that Allah sees you everywhere you find yourself. لمن خاف اليوم وأما من خاف مقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى Whosoever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Whosoever fears the day he would stand in the position of accountability in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ونهى النفس عن الهوى and he protected himself, he observed that sincerity between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saved himself from the lustful desires. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is no way you are not going to enter Jannah. He says, indeed, Jannah is your dwelling. <coughs> Jannah is your dwelling. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, the month of Jannah is here. This is the month of Jannah. The mother Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the doors of all the Jannah to enter. Just go in. Just go through those doors that you want to go. But it comes with an action. We have to put in action. You don't just get earn your certificates without passing through the tests or examination that the board set it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bought Ramadan for us to earn Jannah. But it comes with a price. You must earn that Jannah. Engage in Nawafil. Engage in Sadaqat. Engage in reading Quran. Engage in all possible good actions in this month of Ramadan. Don't say this is love. Engage in them. It could be your last Ramadan, brothers and sisters in Islam. Innama al-hayatu dunya kama in anzalnahu min al-sama fa-akhtalaqa bihi nabatu al-ard fa-asbaha hashiman tadruhu riyah wa kaina Allahu ala kulli shayin muqtadira. إنما مثل الحياة الدنيا كما إن أنزلناه من السماء فاختلط به نبات الأرض مما يأكل الناس والأنعام حتى إذا أخذت الأرض زخرفها والزينات وظن أنها وظن أنها أنهم قادرون عليها أمرنا ليلا أو نهارا فجعلناها حصيدا كأن لم تكن بالأمس كذلك نفصل الآيات لقوم يتفكرون والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط المستقيم. The life of this world. Allah is giving us a parable, an example, a comparison of the life of this world and hereafter. The, the reality of this world to how deceiving this world is. 
Indeed, the likeness of this dunya, kama in anzalahu min as-sama, is as though it's that, like the way the water or the rain drop from the skies. Fakhtalaq bihi nabatul ard. The earth would swallow the earth, um, the water, and then you see the vegetation and plants coming out. This is our lives. When vegetation comes, mimma yaakulul nas wal an'am. We, human beings and animals who feed on these lands, on these plants. Hatta ida akhadat al ardu zukhrufaha wa zayyanat wa zanna ahluha annahum qadiruna alayya amruna laylan aw naharan fa ja'alnaha hasilan ka'an lam tabna bil ams. You see all these plants beautifying, adorning the land. We take it pride, we take proud and we take it as though we own it. But few or few period, you see all the plants, they go away. All the plants go away as though they never existed. Same way. If we can reflect back 40 years ago, 70 years ago, 60 years ago, when you were little, as compared to today, you see, just, just yesterday, just yesterday, look at the changes that came in your lives. And as you're saying just yesterday, tomorrow is near. And when it comes near, it comes with death. It's not just coming. It comes with death. Each and every time that passes in our lives, it comes with death. It's because it doesn't, it did not get to us. That's why death did not take us. But each and every second that passes, death passes around. It comes across us. It watches us. But because it's not our time, it goes to the next person. But either day, either today or tomorrow, it's going to get to your turn. Either today or tomorrow, it's going to get to my turn. What have you prepared for tomorrow? What have you prepared for tomorrow? Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam. We started this Ramadan with a sister. She started Ramadan with us. She had had her suhoor. She's holy. She, she was holy. She ate her suhoor. But she couldn't get to break a fast. She couldn't get to break her fast. Allah took her life away. But at the time she was eating suhoor, she was so sure that she would break her fast. Just like you and I today, right now, we are so sure that we will break our fasts. إِنَّمَا مَثَلُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنْزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَطَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ فَأَصْبَحَ حَشِيمًا تَضْرُهُ رِيَاهُ Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, let's maximize, let's take advantage of this month. When it passes, it's over. When it goes passes us, it's over. Only Allah knows whom gonna reach the next day or the, the next Ramadan. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz continued to say, all the wealth that we compile, we pile up. All the properties that we pile up. All the monies that we keep in our, in our banks. Let's take advantage of this month. Let's spend it. So far as we're working, money will come. Spend as much as we can. Because the money, my money in my bank account, your money in your bank account is not yours, brothers. The money that we have in our bank account is not ours. The, those that we have spent, these are ours. Those money that we spent, these monies are ours. But the money that we have in our account, we are keeping it for some people. So Umar ibn Abdul Aziz says, All this money 
properties that we have in Africa and all Asia and all the other part of the world, we are giving all these properties for other people to fight upon it. Why won't you build a house for you when you die, you go and enjoy in that house? You are so sure that you die. That is certain. أينما تكونوا يدرككم الموت ولو كنتم في بروج مشجدة. No matter how where you find yourself, death will come to you. This one hundred percent. So when you die, where do you go? You know there is life after death. You know that I know that there is life after death. So when you die, have you built a house for you to sleep in, or you want to be homeless? Just ask yourself, brothers and sisters in Islam, have you built a mansion for yourself when you die that you're going to go and enjoy in that house? Just ask yourself, uh, yourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha wal tanziru nafsun ma qaddamat li ghadim. Oh, you who believe, Fear me, Allah said, we should fear him. And each and every soul should look forward, should forecast what they have planned for tomorrow. Whenever Allah talks about tomorrow, he's talking about Qiyamah. What have you planned for tomorrow? What is your plan? Each and every one of us here who is working with the federal or the state or, or, or the city, you know there's some uh, 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 retirement plan for you. You have a retirement plan. What is your retirement plan with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is your retirement plan with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you, you have this plan in dunya, you plan it for your children, and each child that comes in this dunya comes with their provision. This is what we're missing. A lot of people, I, I know someone who died and his children were fighting upon his properties. One of them said, let's take an amount of money to build masjid for our father. They said, no, he didn't build it when he was alive because it's not so important to him. This is it. His money, the money that he suffered, he did double shifts. He earned those money. He kept it for his children. Now they don't want to even put Sadaqa Tijariya for him. How about your children and my children? Do it for yourself before it's late. Do it for yourself before it's late. You might trust your son or your daughter that she, she, she's going to do it for me. Human beings are dynamic. Human beings are dynamic. People change. وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِينَ For Allah created mankind weak. Out of the weakness of mankind, we change our mind. That's why we sin against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you do not build a house for yourself, no one is going to build it for you, brother. Sister, if you do not build it for yourself, no one is going to build it for you. أقول ما تسمعون واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه يغفر لكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا القول Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam Let's work for ourselves Let's plan for ourselves No one will plan for you No one will build your jannah You build your jannah yourself you build your gender yourself. 
if you have houses in Africa, sometimes you do not have money, you could borrow money from your friend and pay them back. Jandla is not like that. You build it yourself. You build it yourself. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz says, Wasa yakhlufuha min ba'dukum al After saying we should trade our dunya with that which is eternal. The reason is this dunya is perishable. It's perishable. We're going to leave dunya. When we leave dunya, where we find ourselves, how would, be the, how would the life there be? Umar ibn Abdul Aziz says, plan for that. Plan for the life that you do not know. You don't know where you're going. Plan for it. You, I, him, her, she, each and every one of us, some day would come, we will be regretful of some actions. As we compile in dunya, we be piling up our world and all these things. As we rush and go into work and not paying attention to that which we're supposed to, before we realize the death is right in front of our face. You say, Allah, let us go back again. Give us a moment. Perhaps I'm going to do good from the life that I left behind. Kalla, no. Allah says, Kalla, no. It's not going to happen. Innaha kalimatun huwa qailuha. This is the word that you say. When death comes, it's over. I repeat, this is the month of Jannah. Let's have the masjid. This is the month of Jannah. Let's have the offerings. This is the month of Jannah. Let's feed the poor. This is the month of Jannah. Let's help one another to attain Jannah. Before we are regretful of some actions. Before we say, Allah, had I known if I had, I had fed this offer, had I known if I had fed these poor people, and behind us would be a wall that sealed, that blocked us from the dunya. In front of us is a life that Allah only knows when it's going to end. Just check it out. Your forefathers, in the 12 forefathers, your father's 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 father. How long ago did he die? And he's still in the grave. Check it out. We all, every time, we depend on the Hijrah calendar. We say, when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, it's 1,445 years ago. 1,445 years ago. These numbers are not just numbers. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam died more than thousand years ago, brother. He's still in the grave. Adam alayhi salam died more than million ago, million years ago. He's still in the grave. He's still living in the grave. When you die, you can live in the in, in your grave for millions of years. Only Allah knows when Tiyama would be. So why would you not prepare for these days ahead of us? The houses that we build, the least, we, the, the most we spend in those houses in Africa is six months. Some people are married to wives in Africa. 
In a year, they go spend two months. In 30 years, they only spend five years with their wives. Okay, when you die, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he continued to say, Allah tarawna annakum fi aslabin halikin wa sayakhluqa min ba'adukum al-baqoon wa kathalik hatta turudduna ila khayr al-warithin thumma antum fi kulli yawm tushayyu'un in qadiyan wa ra'ihan ila Allah each and every day. We take people to the grave. We pray upon people. Each and every day, people leave their families. We leave our families at the graveyard. Do we ponder the situation they find themselves in? At the end of Umar Bula Abdul Aziz's advice, he says, Ghaniyan Amma Taraka. He says, you are rich with what you left behind. Of course, you had three million dollars in your account. You left it behind. You are rich. But you are poor. You are homeless in the life ahead of you. This is the words of Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam. This is the month we should take advantage of. The month that Allah forgives. The month that we should do a lot of tawbah. Allah فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ يُمَتِّعُكُمْ مَتَاعًا حَسَنًا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّعٍ وَيُمْتِ كُلَّ ذِي فَضْلٍ فَضْلٍ وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابًا يَوْمٍ كَبِيرٍ رَبَّنَا أَتْنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر كفرة وعداء الدين وانصر بارك موحدين في كل مكان اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذمر إلا غفرت ولا هم إلا فرجت ولا دين إلا قضيت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا مبتلا إلا عافيت ولا حيران إلا دللت ولا طالبا إلا علمت ولا عصيرا إلا يسرت ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيتها ويسرتها يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب الآمن آمين وكونا صلاة وصالة من الله